Hi gamers, welcome back to another episode of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Oh yes, I mean I don't know about you but I love this game. I do. I'm biased, I don't know, maybe. Don't really care, but I'm loving it, it's great. I mean, where do you... What do you do next? Like, main story, side missions, there's just so much to do. And yeah, I just love wandering around and free roaming, but for you today, we're going to continue with the main story, so we need to report back. Um, we're doing a little bit of a mission now with my brother. And this one is called... Let me just double check before I make a fool of myself. The Brewing Rebellion. Okay, so we need to pick straight back up and uh, see what they got in store for us today. Oil jars, spring old arrows, fodder and the like. Take what's useful and burn the rest. Githrich. Eivor, do the Thanes live? Every single one. They've set out to raise a fear of fighting men. They all stand with you, Githrich. We'll need every pike and poker we have to take down Edwin. And you, and your brother, are you still with me? Unfortunately so. We're doing what we're told. I like your bluntness, Githrich. My axe is yours. My brothers too. Edwin's plopped her haunches down in her castle now. She has men and supplies coming. Curse her eyes. Where is your brother and the odd fellow? They continue their search for the woman Fulke. He seems to think she will help us chase Edwin to an early grave. But I do not understand how. You do what you must, Eivor. I'll ready what men I've got for the coming fight. I'll move towards Kinnabella Castle. And bring up the feared for an assault. Edwin's fortress is strong and sure. Is there anything I can do to weaken her grip on the Shire? Or make her anxious? Ah, there's a notion. You could ship away at her flag bearers if you see them, and defend my feared if any are in strife. We stole some of her supplies here. If you find any other stores like this, destroy them. That I can do. When you're ready for war, You'll find me at a camp near Kinnabella Castle. In one triple single god is plenty for me. Okay, let's see. Let's have a look at the uh, options now. Okay, so. Hmm. So, we can either do this. Mm, take on the Abbey of St. Albans holds the mysterious folk imprisoned for Hesse and of interest to Sigar. So we could do that. Ship away. Yeah, let's do that one and uh, keep it linear. So where are we off to next? Pretty sure that was selected. Where are you? Okay, so find and speak to Sigar. So he's waiting. In Linford, uh, on the eastern border of Oxen, for sure. Uh, eastern. So over here, on the north shore of the Great Ooze. Uh, okay. Where's the border, maybe? Do we just maybe just wander here and see what happens? I think so. It's not too far, really, on the map, so I think we're just going to grab the horse and get on over there. Couple of skill points, nice one. Oh, there we go. Yeah. This one. Okay, people, we are looking like we're here. Somewhere around this area, we need to explore and find our location or target. Find Sigurd. While you're here, don't forget to smash that like button and, of course, subscribe so you don't miss out. This is the camp. Ooh, okay. <laughs> what see you, old friend? I don't think we need to go over into that camp. I think I'm going down towards the river. How do we charm her when she's in our care? 
Do we say what we're after? Or do we dance around the idea? From what I've learned about Fulke, she's not sh And here's Eivor. Ah, uh, you timed things well. The Holy Woman Fulke is close by. Imprisoned at St. Albanese Monastery. Just around the bend. This is our moment, Eivor. After this, everything changes. I might be pleased for you if I knew who this woman was and why we needed her. I have explained enough. Now is the time for action. You've done nothing of the sort. Nothing but give me your blind word. I wish to speak to her. Me. Your Jarl. That alone is reason enough. Why? So she might cast a spell and turn Edwin into an eel. Fulke is not the only advantage we seek here, Aver. There will be treasures in St. Albanese. More than we can count. You can steal all the silver and gold you want. But if there are no more farmers in the field to hire, it's useless metal. Men from all across Mercia will heed the call to fight a woman pledged to Wessex. Aver, there was a time when you would follow me without question. Because we trusted one another. Because you knew I would never lead you into folly. Never wager our lives before I knew the cost. Is there something that holds you back from embracing me as you once did? As your brother? Your family? Sigurd, you know I would never betray your... ...your trust in me. I'll fight with you. But there must be limits to this chase. Giedrich is counting on us. Of course he is. And soon we will deliver. Come. Saint Albanes will not disappoint. It is famous for its treasures. We'll see about that. Okay. We're doing this then, people. We're just gonna follow him. Continue the trust that we seem to have in him and just do what's required. Even though Eivor's got her doubts, um, good reason to, I suppose. What do we know of this woman? We'll do it. Very little. She appears to be an adventurer of sorts. The thing called her a heretic. All the better for us. She's clearly someone who knows her own mind. I admire your optimism, brother. Okay, boys, you following along? Excellent, good. I guess I'm taking the lead here. And what are we going to encounter? If it's a monastery, I'm assuming we're going to have a little bit of a fight. Hopefully it's not too far on the map. Let's check, actually. Yeah, it's a raid, isn't it, as well? So, you know, I've got between here and there to decide. Am I going loud or am I going to do it stealth-like? I don't know. Maybe we should do a live stream and then we could vote, couldn't we? What would you like me to do? But until that point, I get to make the decisions. It looks like we've got some wealth, though, like you did say. Okay, sending the bird up. So she's over towards the back. And then, ooh, we've got a few bits that we can pick up. Well, of course, I suppose it's a, a raider, isn't it? Right, I'm going to try quietness for now. Why are we turning around? Until we can't. I know we're going to need the support of the crew. At some point, obviously, to open up all the large loot boxes. Okay. I want your outfit. I want to feel more like an assassin. But I don't want to pay for it. Okay. Where is this woman? There will be a hurry to go near the central church, I believe. I'm gonna take him out. No, I'm not gonna take him out. You are kidding, right? The hell did I miss that? Well, that's a really good positive start to the old uh, mission. Oh, I think we've got one coming over. Move out the freaking way. It's the only thing about AI, isn't they? Really get in the way. Okay, so we've got quite a bit. A few targets. On a few. I do want to take him out. It's 
quiet as I can, if I'm honest. What the hell? That's not right. That wasn't me. 100% had a full lock on him there. It's totally not me. I missed something in the previous assassins. These guys actually used to make be useful. Like when you're sneaking around, they will take out some of the guards. What we got here? Oh, an order clue. Nice one. And we've revealed who he is. That's classic. Nice one. Right, anyway, I need to concentrate. Yep. Come on, dude. I mean, Sigurd being there is just completely useless, yeah? Mate, what are you sitting back down for? Come on. Over you come. Is it not obvious? Come on. There we go. You got your, your hammer. No. Yes, maybe. My brother's going to do absolutely nothing, right? <laughs> yep. Useless. I'm trying to think what, which one would be best. Whoa. Oh well. Told you I'd go for as long as I could. I want his move. That's pretty cool to deflect the arrows. Where's he getting attacked from, by the way? Ah. <laughs> Hi. All right. <laughs> that would answer that, right? Well, we've got. Aye. Let me get you from here, yeah? Nice. Well, everyone's not rocked up, which is good. Do you think I need to get up there, though? Clearly, we've got a couple of more archers on our case. Nope. Where'd you go? Ah, there he is. One of them at least. Right in the arse. <laughs> nice. Walked straight into that one. Okay. Let's help the brother out, yeah? Ooh, right in the middle. It's dusty goals. Okay. Oh, I thought that would take you down, down. Never mind. Nah, I need to move along. Can't quite grab that target. You know what? Let's go raid. Do you reckon? We're blowing our cover, might as well. <laughs> exactly what I was thinking, but I couldn't say. Coming for you, mate. I'm coming for you. <laughs> we might as well. Nice. Right, you're going to get onto the... Right, I'll try and jump onto the rope. Super helpful. Oh, all right. You want to be like that? Not in the back. You should not have turned your back on me, mate. Can I get him? Someone else is. I'll take him out. <laughs> I did that. He was straight for his arm. And someone's shooting at me. Wait, that one? Oh, there's annoying ones. I want to definitely take him out. Yep. Right, what else we got? 
I can hear stuff happening or else they're still dealing with this one. Take your time. <laughs> right, where are you going, mate? And you. And you're one of ours. Any arrows flitting about now? Worm food, really. like terrible shot wow okay well I'm just gonna jump oh my god we got crazy chicken on us <laughs> I had that happen to me in another episode you know crazy chicken totally not on point for the mission though right we're just Slashing everybody up. <laughs> yeah, mate, you missed. You missed. Okay, where else are we going? Nice. Nice attack there. I totally want these assassin moves. Right, I think she was towards this way, but... Don't know, let's go and... Go and embrace these guards. Encourage them to join the party. Go on, mate. Smash those buttons. I mean, stomping them is good, but it ain't no Spartan kick. How are you doing over here, mate? Yep, want to be a part of that. Okay. Whoa. I, I paused for a second. Did I just hit my own guy? There we go. She's in a crypt somewhere, isn't she? Am I in the right location now? Oh, no, it's over there. Right, okay. Going a bit far. Can we get up there through the? Must be black from the other side. Let's just go up. Let's just go up. <gasps> if you haven't done already, make sure you comment below on hints and tips of Assassin's Creed Valhalla, everyone. Those comments will then feature in the next video that I post. And it helps just to create a little community spirit. And of course, brings you into the fold too. Get in there. Well, I gotta just deal with you. Whoop. I guess that's a yes. Okay, let's see if I can get in without getting injured. <laughs> How can you get tired of those finishing moves? You can't really, can you? Intruder, come on, get over here. Away with you. Come on. Dead, right? Work with me. Just want to see what that uh, new ability does. It's all right. It's a bit like the charge up that used to have in Odyssey. Seems a bit silly to have it as an ability, but they should just incorporate it into the main fighting mechanics, I think, but that's just my opinion. Oh. oh, come on. Okay, it's just us now, mate. Now, 
I get that foot. Yes. Come on, let's smash this man's head in. In the eyes of God. There we go. Can't help thinking there's a bit of karma. Right, so. Okay, we've got that to open up. Should I be reading the letters? Maybe. We should be. We got any canisters in here? Right, let's go find. I haven't got the key, have I? Oh, I have got the key. I've got the key. Through here. Ooh. She down here then. Through here. Hot long last. For like holy Judas, I thank you, beloved Jesus, for the wisdom. Hello. Who dares to this sanctuary? This stony cave reeks of piss and salty tears. How dare you? We've come for the woman Fulke. She need not bedevil you any longer. Oh, the mad heretic. Ah, the self-begotten spirit has sent an angel to deliver me. Open the door. Her heresies must be punished. Not by Danes or Mohammedans, but by true Christians. Hmm. I were gonna pay them or fight. I wanna fight. Fire. Stand aside or fight. If we must come to blows, my lord will protect me, and my reward shall be assured. <laughs> well, that solved that. Saved me some money, too. Praise thee, Lord of the Treasury of Light, for this chance of deliverance. Are you sent by the angels of Sacklus? Or the self-begotten one above? That I cannot answer. You are the woman called Fulke. I am Fulke in this realm. A humble seeker of the self-begotten one's true nature. And you are a collector of artifacts? The instruments of the children of Sacklus the Fool. Yes, I am. I have many such curiosities. And you possess an object? A polished stone with unusual markings? Now, you're a curious one. A cowl and robes hiding tawny skin. And that devilish blade. Why do we linger here? Soldiers will be coming. There are stables beyond the monastery where we can speak in peace. Lead the all way. right. Come. Let's do that, but I also think we need to get all the wolf. So please make sure that we can come back. How long were you imprisoned? Some weeks, perhaps a month. Your so-called heresies. Heresies, yes. I have been blessed to discover many profane objects in my lifetime. Objects which attest to the works of the Demiurge, the false god worshipped by these robed imbeciles. Across Germania and Francia, I found these relics and carvings. And here in England, too. Lady Edwin claims they are blasphemous, but her mind is clouded. The true worth of these objects is immense. May we see these objects? If you wish to know the truth of... Enough of these mysteries, Sigurd. Yeah, bro, Funke come on. is a curator of objects of great worth. One of which may reveal my true nature. True nature? You said this was about victory. About defeating Edwin. To know that I am descended from the ancient gods is a victory. It would give me dominion over this land. Descended of the gods? Brother, what by Odin's eye are you saying? Fulke, we have heard that you possess a profane stone with strange markings and the image of a tree. That I do. A monolith I call the Saga Stone, for it came to this land with the Dane Ragnar Lothbrok. Do you have it? It is the sun and moon of all my sacred objects. Okay, so we're here for an alliance. You're dreaming. It is nothing but a stone. Alliance. Will you buy and trade the stone for an alliance? Or more fighting men? Is it useful for anything other than flattering yourself? Perhaps I should leave you three alone to hammer through your differences. We are unified. We only wish to see the stone, to read the runes inscribed upon it. 
No one on Earth can read those runes. The languages are known and probably long dead. There is no risk in letting us look. No risk at all. Praise thee, O oh, self-begotten one, for sending these three to deliver me from my punishment. No whispering gods let me hear, Fulke. I brought myself. You came because I called you, Eber. They spoke through me. Brother, you have my head spinning. And you fascinate me more with each passing moment. The Saga Stone is hidden away in the care of my acolyte. Are you ready to go see it? Yeah, we'll do it. The sooner we see this slab of rock, the better. Let's go. Approach the stone with an open mind, Ava. You may find it more interesting than you expect. Yeah, okay. Um, I want my horsey. We'll come back here at some point to raid it and complete the raid. I want to stick to the main story. Um, bit of a traffic jam. Come on, kids. And this dude's just falling over. That's handy. So my brother thinks that he's some sort of what is it about this stone ancient one. You, the Saga stone comes from an ancient race of beings, a generation of lesser gods, as do all the artifacts I collect for my church. You prayed to the Christ Jesus in your cell. Is your church not the Church of Rome, like these Saxons? These Saxons believe in Christ the Redeemer, but I know his true purpose. Christ the Educator, the Keeper of Secret Knowledge. Is this why Edwin loves you? For preaching such an idea? Yes. Christians like her, like, like Alfred, they believe Christ's purpose on Earth was to wash us free of sin. The Roman Church has been deluded by the lies of Sacklas, or Yeldenlauf, the demiurge of many names, a lesser god. Sacklas and his kind were wise in their time, but they lost sight of the true god, the self-begotten one, lord of the treasury of light. This is why Edwin had me punished and imprisoned. What she calls heresy is, in fact, the true nature of the universe. Yours is a strange saga, Fulke. And I have not yet reached its end. Yeah, let's uh let's get moving forward then. Be on your guard. Someone is watching us. Take care, everyone. The villagers aren't happy we're here. Edwin's eyes and ears, no doubt. Where are you taking us? Okay. This is the place up ahead. What is this tower? A ruin from England's Roman past. My acolyte found it abandoned and derelict. He took refuge here after his bishop expelled him for teaching the same truths that got me imprisoned. He was a priest. He was, and he is. The bishops of England are simply too craven and deluded to understand the secret wisdom we possess. I'm intrigued. Is this going to be a bit like um, the globe that we had of Eden and all that, or completely different? Are you here? Ransacked from floor to roof. Oh. Bassam, stand guard outside. It's behind here. No the stone is within? I asked Paul to hide it well. But I do not know where. Oh, mate. Dear God. Is this him? Your acolyte, Paul? My dearest friend. Okay, so... About to say, I think it's down below, but... May you live as one with the true God in the treasury of light. Your friend paid the price for his loyalty. I imagine he was guarding the stone. Edwin's men did this. They killed Brother Paul and took my stone. You! Always questioning, second-guessing my wishes. You slowed us down, and I missed my chance. Wow, he's pretty mad. So it does not matter. We will get the stone. 
Um, and this is Basim's. Oh, we'll get the stone. Patience, brother. We will find this stone wherever it is. Right or wrong, you will have your answer. I know the answer already, Eivor. I've seen it in my dreams. I know exactly. Hold, both of you. You hear that? Soldiers, Edwin's here. I wasn't expecting a fight. What about you lot? How dare you Danes befoul my lands? Hold off, Eivor. First we talk. Lady Edwin! A stone was taken from this tower, inscribed with runes, and the image of a tree. Do you know it? Yes. One of this heretic's blasphemous baubles. Is that why you've come? We are here to trade that stone for an assurance of peace. What are you saying? We gave Giedrich our word. For that stone, we will leave your lands and not return. Oh, for this, you must bring me Giedrich's head. The stone is within our grasp. We made a promise, brother. Brother, we have a deal then. We accept. Done. Ooh. We do not. Hey, no! <laughs> no! Cut them down. Leave none alive. Oh. Oh, sis, what are you doing? Hey, are you mad? Yep. Okay. Get rid of the soldiers. Who will speak of this, Ava? I will not forget. Oh no! Like, the brother's gonna be so mad. Oh, aye, double hit! Get off me! Right, that's one, that one out of the way. Keep your shield up, Ava. Come on. Gonna do something? Couple of shots in there, anyway. <laughs> his ass. Uh, it might be his back, but I'm saying it's ass. Okay. Ooh. Come on, boys, just give it up. And then we still got to go and get the stone. Next, um, Archer over there. Did he just call me what I think he might have called me? Oh. that come from? <laughs> right, I definitely tried to block that one, people. I'm not lying. Stay down. Oh, I thought for a second that I was going down. Yeah, we need to deal with you quick because you are hurting me. Okay, what we got next? I think we've got another crossbow somewhere. Oh, I don't know, I just spotted some rations and a bunny, but we'll leave the bunny alone. Go. Yes, okay. I hate those ones, they're just quick on their feet, right? Go. Oh. <laughs> Where are you going, pal? 
Idiot. Right, any more? Yeah, more. She uh, actually takes on the correct target. We'll get somewhere today. <laughs> yeah, brutality. It's awesome, right? Is that it? Aver, you mock-minded fool! That was our chance to recover the stone. He's totally hacked off of me. So we have a pact with Gidric or Sidrid, you are a coward. Well, we do have a pact. I will not betray Gidric. That is not for you to decide. My promises are my own, and they are ironclad. Your first oath is to your Jarl, Sigurd Jarl, your brother and master. Mm. <laughs> Come on, people, we all know I'm going to punch him. Stay out of this. Enough! If it wasn't clear why Sigurd is in command, it is now. Your temper runs too hot, Wolf Kissed. You want to settle things with Basim, you call a home gang. Else you follow me. You listen to me, you do as I ask. Edwin will flee to her castle. You want your stone? It will be there. Gidrich's pathetic army will never breach the walls. We could have first taken the stone, then laid siege. That was always our plan, Eivor. I had no intention of betraying Gidrich. It was your plan all along? Yet you saw fit to keep me guessing through your fits of madness. You are not always to be trusted. Your passions overcome you. I know that. My father knew that. Your father knew it. Easy. Do I punch him as well? Yeah. You move with the wrath of Odin. But you do not have his wisdom. That will lead you astray, Eivor. Come, friend. We have a battle to prepare for. This quarrel with your brother is something to behold. Has it always been so heated? All my life we moved as one. As family. As kin. I have always known his mind, and he mine. Until this day. Time makes idiots of us all. You fought well today, Fulke. Would you fight beside me now? To wrest control of the Shire from Edwin? I will. Giedrich asked me to cripple her line of support. Would you know where she gets her rations and supplies? East of Oxenforda. South of the Lichvila. There's a place called Eton Barn where eager merchants sell to soldiers. Meet me there. I'll come soon. Sigurd, brother, you are lost in a sea storm of your own making. Edwin's defenses have been weakened, but I could do more before joining Fulke. Well, that was um, unexpected, and I'm glad I took the opportunity to punch him both in the face, because why the hell not? We don't play Assassin's Creed because we like to dance around each other. I'm a Viking at the end of the day. Anyway, on that note, I think there's a great end to this episode. Can't wait to see you back at the next one. We're probably going to weaken, weaken their forces before we take on the main castle. Um, until then, stay safe everyone, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.